All right, friends, we're going to deal with um, simplifying rational expressions. It goes along with what we're doing, because right now we have been practicing our ability to factor, but it does go back just a little bit more. As you can see, these are monomial items. So all I want to do is review how to deal with reducing these fractions. Remember, these are actually three to separate problems. Negative 7 over 21 is negative 1 over 3. I have a squared over a to the fifth, so I have three extras on the bottom here, a to the third, and b to the third power over b is just b. Now my excluded values, we got to remember I can't divide by zero, and for this we're always going to go back to the original. So in this one, pretty simple, a is not allowed to be zero, and b is not allowed to be zero. This will be a little more challenging, uh, make a little bit more sense as we deal with some binomials and trinomial stuff as we factor in this lesson. And the next one, there is nothing I can reduce. So this is my answer. My excluded value, though, remember the denominator can't be zero. So I'm just going to simply solve that down here. So m is not allowed to be 6 is the domain restriction. And then my third one goes back to kind of the first one, uh, 56 over 70. Uh, so I believe they're both divisible by 7. So this would be 10, and this would be 8. Oh, I can do more. Okay, remember, it's not wrong if I don't, as long as I keep going. So this is four and this is five. So four fifths, uh, the X's, I see one extra on the bottom, right? I get two on top, three on the bottom. And for the Y's, this is one, so I have one on the bottom. So X is not allowed to be zero and Y is not allowed to be zero. And we have it reduced, that's a four. My pen's giving me fits here. Here we go, four, there we go. All right, um, you know, and I had a little uh, thing in your notebook there about memory lane, about factoring, because that's all we're doing. Up top, GCF, no big deal. We're going to take out a three, and I'll have X minus five. On the bottom, the factors of 10 that add up to seven. So I can skip. I can use uh, a nice shortcut method here, uh, because my factors of 10 Factors of 10 are going to be 2 and 5 because that will give me 7. So 2 and 5. The signs are the same, both negative. And then take a look here. I got an x minus 5 over top of an x minus 5. So my final reduced answer is 3 over x minus 2. That's the thing we're looking for. x is not allowed to be 2 from the denominator. I see that one. And if it's equal to 0 and equal to 0, even though it goes away, it still cannot be 5. We'll talk about that in algebra 2, what that means. All right, in our next one, we're going to factor again. I see a 4 on top, 4x plus 4 on the bottom. Again, 36. We want them to be 5 apart. So I'm going to use 9 and 4. Okay, so I got x and 9, x and 4. I want to get negative 5, so I need negative 9 and positive 4. Negative 9, positive 4. And again, we get to reduce those. 4 over x minus, minus 9. <coughs> Our excluded values, x is not allowed to be negative 4. And the other one, x minus 9, gives me positive 9. So this is the two things we're looking at. Remember, even if it goes away, we have to count that. <clears throat> All right, so we get to factor all sorts of stuff. This time I get to factor the numerator and the denominator. So up top, the factors of three can only be one and three. So x and one, x and three. I want to get negative two. So I'm going to use negative, negative three and positive two. Uh, on the bottom, the same signs, both going to be negative here. So I got x minus and x minus. Uh, factors of 12, um, 12, let's see, 1 and 12, nope, uh, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. All right, 3 and 4, there we go. 3 and 4. What are we going to get rid of? We're going to get rid of x minus 3 over top of x minus 3. So my reduced answer is going to be x plus 1 over top of x minus 4. 
x is not allowed to be x minus four equals zero, so positive four as we add the four over. And x minus three is gonna give me three. Uh, the next one up top here, uh, we have a special case here. This is a difference of squares. So that's going to be x plus 3 and x minus 3. On the bottom, we're going to take out a GCF of 2, and that's going to give me an x plus 3 left over. Look at that. That's awesome. We're going to get rid of some stuff here. Uh, x plus 3, x plus 3. So final answer, x minus 3 over top of 2. And remember, I'm only concerned with denominators. So even though it's going to go away, x is not allowed to be negative 3 as a domain restriction. So the only thing I do is make uh, more factoring. Um, you know, we're not doing anything new here. So factors of 4 that are 3 apart, well, that's 1 and 4. 36, that adds up to 13. Uh, that's 4 and 9. Uh, and sometimes if I get stuck and I'm not sure what factors to use, try and do one half of the problem, like the numerator versus the denominator, uh, because hopefully I'll get some things that match up here. So here we're going to go with, um, I'm just going to change these to x's if my pen will work uh, temporarily. Okay, so x and 1, x and 4. All right, and for the numerator, I need different signs. So negative 4 plus 1. On the bottom, both negative, uh, x minus 9, x minus 4. So I'm going to get rid of my x minus 4s. That leaves me with x plus 1 over x minus 9. x is not allowed to be positive 4, positive 9. Remember, I'm constantly thinking about solving these equal to 0 and equal to 0. And that's how we're going to get those domain restrictions. All right, one more to the right here, uh, n plus 5. So I'm hoping I can use an n plus 5 again. That leaves my other factor is uh, n minus 4. And that does work out. But this one's a little bit weird. What's left up top? Remember, if I divide 5 over 5, I get 1. So I do get 1 over n minus 4. So I'm going to be careful with that. A lot of kids might uh, just make it uh, n minus 4. We have to clarify that that n minus 4 is in the denominator n is not allowed to be 4 from the one that we see there, n minus 4. We'll add the 4 over, and n plus 5 requires us to subtract the 5 over. And that's what we got, my friends. All right, uh, let's see. Still some, uh, hopefully, some basic factoring here. I'm going to review this one one more time here. Uh, x plus 4 in the numerator and the denominator. 16, that adds up to 8. Well, that's 4 and 4, so I get x plus 4 and x plus 4. I like uh, making sure I show these multiples here. So we know that all I can do is cancel out one of these by division. So again, I get one up top because nothing's there. And then x plus 4 in the denominator. My domain restriction, x is not allowed to be negative 4. And that covers both of these because they were the same thing. I don't have to write it twice. If you do, I won't mark it wrong. But somebody at the state level might because they're like, I didn't write it twice. Or he wrote it twice. There she is. All right. Uh, I understand what's going on here, and I understand how you kids think about it. Oh, one more here. Uh, 15 that are two apart. I believe that's 3 and 5. Uh, 12, I'm going to use 3 and 4. All right, so I got my numbers all worked out. I want negative 5, positive 3. I want negative 4, positive 3. All right, let's write it formally out. x plus 3, x minus 5. x plus 3, x minus 4. So all of these had this a value of one, which makes them a little bit easier. So here's my answer, the simplifying the rational, uh, but x is not allowed to be, add the four to get four, and what, uh, plus three, so we're going to subtract the three. So four and negative three as my domain restrictions, domain restrictions. All right, so that's what we're gonna work with. Uh, so really just each problem turns into multiple, but nothing new going on, right? You know how to factor. Uh, we know how to reduce fractions now. And also we could solve these one-step equations down here on the bottom. Uh, 
Uh, so nothing new. We just got to make sure we label them as what they are. They're domain restrictions now. All right. Thanks for playing along, and we'll keep working on it in class.